So, take a look at this footage of people having surgery done to their face. Um, they actually first have their face written on. You ever notice well, that? Well, just about that. They kind of, it's like, a, you know, stenciling. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Rosanna saw this in a magazine, a new trend that women, younger and younger women, are opting for a facelift. Which is usually a facelift with somebody like, you know, in their 50s or 60s um, who wanted to, you know, get rid of the, the double chin or whatever, the wrinkles. Double chin. <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, w let's take a look at Elaine. Elaine is uh, in her mid-30s. Uh, we have uh, the before and after picture. Before on the... Left. Phew. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> there's Elaine on the right. I thought she, anyway, and she Elaine. She looked good both in both places. But. Uh, Elaine joins us on the couch right now. She looks uh, right this way, Elaine. Spectacular. Hi, Elaine. Hi. <laughs> and the doctor who did that to her face joins us as well. Dr. Constantine, right. nice to have right. you here. Pleasure. All right, so is this a new phenomenon where women in their 30s now start to get their face left? Uh, yes, absolutely. Something that started fairly recently. People realize that at, even at very young age, uh, there's some aging changes can appear, and it really bothers people. But so. is that recommended to be getting a facelift in your 30s? Uh, so it's not, it, facelift is not the kind of procedure that you would recommend, but if somebody is really bothered by their appearance, if they say, oh my God, I cannot look at my pictures because of my jowls or my double chin, right, then uh, we have to do something about it, and facelift is one of those things. Let's meet Elaine here. Now, Elaine, hi. Hi. Where are you from? <laughs> Ukraine. Ukraine? Yes. What do you do? I'm beauty therapist. A beauty therapist? Yeah, I'm working in the Red Dots by Union Square. Okay, and you, you live and work here in New York. Uh, so, uh, look, let's take a look at your before and after picture again. Yeah, the, we The you before look picture good. actually looked look fine. I mean, it looks like a different, like a slightly different shade of makeup. I don't see the. Okay, yeah. now this looks a bit tell more. Us, <laughs> tell us what was wrong. What, what, what you um, found was wrong. I just, if you're going to be see on this picture, I have like a double chin. On the left. One, yeah, it's just bothering me this kind of. And no matter how you tried to exercise and yeah, lose weight, yeah. you couldn't get rid of yeah, the double absolutely chin. absolutely not. So you wanted to get rid of the double chin. Yeah, to feel myself more comfortable. So, Doc, so it was just, uh, I see like she really doesn't have a defined chin on the left right. picture. So was it just the double chin or was it more than that? Uh, it's, a facelift is more than that. It's double chin, it's the jowls, it's the cheeks. Everything have to work together with the facelift. It's the hallmark of the old fashioned facelift that one part of the face would look good and other parts of the faces would still not be so looking, looking so young. Um, nowadays when we do the facelift, we take care of of everything in this area. Huh, what are the risks? Uh, they're not significant risks. It's, it's a Except procedure Except you could look that bad. Thing. Uh, right? <laughs> I mean, thing, Elaine, right? These things, Excuse me, these things are, don't happen anymore. There are risks. We've all seen that show botched, right? Right, you can We've look... We've seen that show botched. Were you worried, Elaine? Like, maybe you would look too pulled? To be or? honest, I very trust my doctor. That's why. I right. this. Has your life changed in any uh, appreciable way? Oh, yeah. I got a lot of compliments after that. Everybody said, oh, you look beautiful. You look small, younger. How and long I'm happy. And you're happy. How long yeah. ago did you do it? How long? Yeah, how, when was the surgery? Like a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, your life has improved. The quality of your life has improved. Yes. Yes, it has. Absolutely. I got married. It's a second marriage for me. You think okay. you <laughs> Okay. There you go. So, Dr. Right. Constantine, I mean, it's not so much what we think, it's what right. you think about how your face looks, right, when you look in the mirror? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a matter of choice because some people in their 60s, they're perfectly happy with their face and they absolutely don't need anything. And some people in their 30s, they look at their selfie pictures and they say, oh my God, I can't stand how my face looks. Well, I know, the I'm, selfie pictures can be terrible. I'm wondering if the selfie pictures are kind of like, you know, kind of motivating people to get their face done at an earlier age. I blame social media for you this. You do? Yes, Why? Abs absolutely. Because we, uh, Instagram, Facebook, our pictures are everywhere and all our friends are discussing how we look. So Ugh. It's terrible. It's <laughs> Doctor, Con Maybe it's good for business though. Dr. Constantine, you ever try to talk a patient out of getting something done? Um, absolutely. Yes, I, I yes, imagine all, so, right? All the time. Right. They come yes. in for something they, they don't need? They come in or? for something they don't need and they saw it on the internet and they discussed it with other people on the internet and they, they feel they need it but but they really don't. Where can we find you, Doc? Um, Where's your office? 59 East 79th Street between Madison and Park. Very okay, nice. Okay, and uh, let's see. How much for a, a full-blown facelift? facelift? Uh, the facelift, the cost can range from ten to $30,000. 10 to uh, thirty grand. More expensive is not necessarily better. How about a nose job? Uh, nose job, 10, 15. 
10 or 15. By the way, I got a cure for the double chin. Well, you yeah. just to watch this yeah. film, right? Here's my regular chin. Yeah. Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That is so good. <laughs> you Doc, just you suck it in. See, Elena, you did not need to get your face you done. No, no, this is me. You this is normal. You learned this. Yeah. Anytime the camera comes out, you just go, you suck it in. You can suck in your gut, you can suck in your chin. And save your money. Save your money, Elena. Right, exactly. Dr. Dr. Constantine, uh, you seem like a good doctor. Very good. Thank and you. Uh, give us your phone number just in case. <laughs> it's okay. 212-380-3634. By the way, there are risks to any kind of plastic Absolutely. surgery. Absolutely, yes. And there is deaf. Um, <laughs> you never had that happen on you, right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, well, anyway. I always think about that. Every time I want to do, like, some kind of procedure, and I'm thinking, death due to vanity. How would that look on the tombstone? <laughs> can you go under local Just anesthesia? Just go with the wrinkles. Um, absolutely. You a can. You can of, do local. Yes, yes. A lot of facelifts nowadays are done under local anesthesia. You have to remember, it's not the old-fashioned facelift. So they are minimally invasive. The recovery time is quick. Uh, and they are so much better. Fabulous. Elena, nice thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, good day's coming right back.